A group called Progressive Young Leaders Assembly have called on President Bola Tinubu and national leadership of the All Progressives Congress to overhaul the ruling party's reward system for members and prioritize the appointment of party stalwarts who fought tooth and nail in ensuring his victory and that of the party in the 2023 general elections. The group, which advised the president to do the needful in order to avoid his possible 2027 ambition being self-truncated, said they felt concerned that the ruling party seems to to have derailed in the choice of appointment of prominent Nigerian politicians, particularly those who gave their time, physical energy, and hard end resources to support its victory in the 2023 elections. Making its position known at a press conference in Abuja, Group's Chairman Abubakar Kurawa, the Secretary Barrister Sadiq Abubakar, registered the group's displeasure over the fact that the likes of Senator Ovie Elmwagege, Senator Aisha Tubinani, who both contested for governorship race in the estate. States, eventually lost out, were unable to get ministerial appointments on that President Tinubu administration. We are disturbed that a considerable number of the people that the APC rewarded with ministerial slot, for example, could not match the resilience, sacrifice of energy and resources of other members that are yet to get even a simple letter of commendation for their efforts. We cannot fathom why there is still a silence on Senator Obi Omoagiyi, former Deputy Senate President, who also contested on the platform of the APC, but lost out in the 2023 elections. It is worrisome that Senator Aisha Tibinani, who is widely believed to have won her immediate constituency of Adama, imagined that she was the only female governorship candidate in the rest, but nothing for it. This is this despite the fact that an average Nigerian believes that Senator Aisha Dibinana has a lot of value to add to the functions of this administration, be it on her track records. If we say, okay, the, uh, we are give, giving people ministers based on their capacity as technical or whatever, <laughs> for God's sake, I believe every Nigerian believes that Mr. Kai Defyu is also a technocrat. Professor Ben Aide is also a technocrat. In fact, so many of them are not only politicians, they are equally technocrats. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.